Good morning YouTube, it is I Danielle, better known as Danielle, happy medium and welcome to all of you who are watching the video and if you've just stumbled across my channel I welcome you also, if you're not subscribed maybe subscribe, if you're already subscribed and you've liked and all of that share with friends, for those who know me will know me well and for those who are brand new to me I, again I welcome you all in this video up for discussion today or this tutorial talking walking about working psychically and how do you know if you really are working mediumistically or psychically now lots and lots of people ask ask me this question all the time especially the newbies even the more professional mediums out there and for me personally this one is a gauge of your own but i have got a couple of hints and tips that may help you along the way what we have to remember here before we go any further is is there is always and I mean always a psychic break when you're doing mediumistic work. You can't get away from this. You, you can't. It is inevitable. It has to be there in order to be able to connect to the spirit world. That psychic ability has to be there or this extra sensory system has to be there in order to be able to work for the spirit world. What happens is, is, is when we first start out in mediumship, a lot of what we do is psychic so through development we then start to move the psychic and become more mediumistic or more of the mediumistic connections now what people normally will do is stay here because there hasn't been enough development of the shift of the mind development of understanding energy development of understanding your own energy and this is what sitting in the power will get you sitting in the power will get you an understanding of energy your energy versus their energy and what we want to be looking for i'm just going to sort of spray this because we're going to have a bit of us i hope you can say that all right i hope these are close enough um what you have to understand i have my bottle of flash anybody who watches me regularly will know i have this bottle of flash what we have to understand is, is, is as we're developing, I'm just going to move over so I hope you can see. So as we're developing, so here's you as the medium when you first start out, you have quite a lot of what we call psychic energy, which is obviously your energy. And we need our energy in order to be able to shift the mind through the power of the thought over to the spirit world. And what happens is with over time of development, so here is you, here is the spirit world, here is, the, well, here's the shift of the mind, here's the spirit world. And most mediums, when they first starting out, they get into the shift of the mind and just sort of slightly over, and then they need to go back. So they're sort of flapping but more between psychic with elements of mediumistic in there. With development of sitting in the power and a couple of the techniques I can give you, you start to be able to push more and more, so you're more over here with the spirit world. So even when you're doing one-to-one -one sittings or you're doing your demonstration, you're sitting more on this side of the fence rather than that side of the fence, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So what happens is, is the newbie medium is fluctuating between more psychic with touches of mediumistic. As we're developing, as we're moving further down the path and as we're coming more and more of an understanding of the spirit world and the shift of the mind, we're staying more and more over here. And even when we're touching straight away more as if we're going to board and back over onto the psychic, we will know to keep ourselves more and more over to there, even when we're demonstrating. Because when we're demonstrating, when we're doing the sitting work, there's got to be an element of psychic there because you're talking to the sitter or you're talking to the congregation, either or. But when you're doing that and you've done this development and you, you will always border here so it'll, even when you're coming back to the world to talk to the people so to get your yes or whatever, you're still more over here than you are over there. So that's a little sort of hint and tip I can give you. And that there, this, you can only get this through development. It's your take on it. There is nobody can tell you when you're working psychically or when you're working mediumistically. The only time you're going to get this is as your development encroaches and as it moves forward. But I can give you some hints and tips that I used when I was first starting out to understand. So when I first started working and developing through sitting in the power, so sitting in the power is your top tip. All right, you need this. It's, I bang on about this all day long on this channel. People think I'm, I feel like I'm a repeating parrot, but it's for your own good. It's not because I'm trying to be awful. It's because in the, in the long run, you're going to build good foundations. And this is what you need if you're going to build this relationship with your mediumship and with the spirit world. 
So sitting in the power is going to get you a development and an understanding of your energy. Now, when I'm working psychically, and as you can see, the auric field, it's a bit jagged. So when I'm working psychically, the energy feels a little staticky or it'll feel like sandpaper. It'll feel a little rough. So if you were to get a bit of sandpaper and run it across your arm, that's an indication for me that I'm working psychically or I have mo haven't moved my mind enough. When I'm working with the spirit world, my energy or my mind becomes stable, if that makes sense. It becomes solid. I, don't know if you, I hope you can all see this. It becomes like a solid like format. It becomes sort of still. It's as if like, and then when, my, when the information's coming in from the spirit world to my mind, it's like an even flow. It sort of just flows. It'll just sort of just naturally as if it's a natural. And that's what mediumship is here after all, a natural process. So the information's naturally just dropping in. I'm not having a fight to get this information into my mind. It's just sort of dropping in. So that's a little hint and tip I can give you on the clear sentience link when you're doing mediumistic work. Now, that's only my interpretation here. It may be an interpretation that you need. So what you need to do in order to develop this psychic ability or this mediumistic ability is sit in the power will get you that better understanding of when you're shifting your mind, so when you start your sitting the power, you stay with you, so you get an understanding of you, then power the thought over and feel the differences of the energy so that you become aware of when you're working, where your mind may have shifted back over or is it still in the spirit world? That's a really good tip and I want to hope you will use given time. Second, let's look at clairvoyancy. I hope you can all see let me just shift my camera because um, I have had a change of like, move of the room round, as you can probably tell because I've been decorating, but that's another story. Clairvoyancy. So I have already done a video on images, but we'll do another one on images just for a recap. For me personally, when I see images from the spirit world, my images have some kind of glow around them or they have some sort of backdrop to them. So, for example, when I'm working psychically, I will just see the person. I won't say anything more. It'll just be like a box standard. As if you were looking at a photograph. So get yourself a photograph. Have a look at it. That's a psychic That's a psychic image to me. When I say this mediumistic, it starts to get, you know, like that 3D. You know when you used to get pictures and you could twist them and move them and they would alter and, and, and elevate? That's a bit like a mediumistic image to me. Mediumistic images normally have some kind of depth to them, like I've just talked about on the picture. Or they have some kind of white glow around them. Or they look a bit like the ready brick man. You know, the, um, ever years ago, for those who are a little, um, not just over 21, you know. Um, you know, the, the very much like that. So they look a bit like the ready black glow man or they've got this glow around them. So try to take notice of the imagery that you're getting from the spirit world. And taking an understanding of what may be psychic and what may be, it might be mediumistic. That's a little hint and tip I can give you on your images in order to have a better understanding of what may be psychic, might be, it might be mediumistic. Now again, gonna be your interpretation on this. You know, that's my interpretation. But uh, what I will say to you is, is, is if you sort of use the skill set, you'll probably find you can adapt it to your way of thinking or your understanding, which is really important here because what goes in my toolbox may not necessarily always be for your toolbox, but what we can do is give you some understanding so that you can then adapt them so that once you start getting it, you're like, yeah, I get that, right, now I'm seeing them. You'll start and look for them images more and more, but again, on your interpretation. Next, so we'll go to Claire Audience. Now, Claire Audience, this is a bit of a toughie. And not many mediums that I know work this way. Majority of yours work clairvoyantly with clairsentience mixed in it or claircognelium, which is the known. I'm a clear audience medium, so I, I actually I work with loads of range of clairs as I and move up that scale and down that scale quite quite readily. It it, it doesn't it, I don't specifically have predominantly one, but if I had to pick one, it would be clear audience. I'm a clear audience medium, but I can use lots of others, but that's another story now. So anyway, for me, clear audience on a psychic link feels denser. So when I'm working clear audience, so for example, I'm just gonna clean some of this board, so give me a minute, all right? When I'm working clear audience, 
sometimes I hear the spirit world within my mind and sometimes I hear them with my own ears. It just depends on which, how that spirit's working with me. It just depends. So when I'm normally, just gonna give this board a, a thingy. When I'm normally working clear audience, um, for me personally, when I work psychically, the depth of the words sound far away. So my mind will be here. They may shout in from the left or the right, depending on, you know, which way. But on a psychic link, it feels like they're over there. They're like miles away, like right over there. When I'm working mediumistically, it's as if they're right there inside my mind, like bush, like there, right in my mind, or it's right there by my ear. That's normally an interpretation for me when I'm working either psychically or working mediumistically. Now, this one is a toughie. It's not an easy one. And lots of people ask me, how do you develop clear audience? And I'm gonna be doing a video on that. In fact, I'm gonna do a bit of a series on it because I say lots of stuff on clairvoyancy and all the others, but very little on clear audience. So I'm gonna be doing some videos on that for the mediums out there who are working that way. So this is an interpretation for me when I'm working psychically clear audience or where I'm working mediumistically. This has taken me some time, that one there. That, that one didn't come in overnight. It took me months of hard graft um, working with the spirit world to get this nailed. And even then, it still catches me out from time to time. I ain't got anything nailed perfectly. I ain't gonna get it perfect because I ain't the perfect medium. So you gotta bear these things in mind. Next, we'll go to Claire. Claire, Claire Cognelian, or Claire uh, Cognelians. Again, this is another one I work quite predominantly on, so it's the known to everybody who's maybe watching the, the channel here or the video. So for me personally, when I'm working this one, it's again a bit like the clear audience. So my known comes in through the, it's sort of like a shiver. So when I'm working clear cognelian, when I'm working psychically on a known, it's sort of, it's, there's no shiver there. There's a, like a, a shiver across my body, like as if somebody's walked across my grave. You'll understand what I mean by that. When I'm working mediumistically on the Claire Cognelian link, it's like the shiver has run across my grave. When I'm working psychically, there is no shiver. There's no nothing. There's no change of, of energy or there's just nothing. It's as if there's a nothingness. There's, it's just blank. So there's nothing there. When I work mediumistically, there's like a shiver across the body, like as if it's like a, a, like a wave of like energy, which will lead me to believe that I'm working with the spirit world because there's been an alteration of the energy. This one again was interpreted my way. It was the way that I found it most easiest to do. And which again, all of these are only hints and tips that may or may not help you but it may give you a starting block in order to, for you to get a better understanding. My best advice to you, go to the spirit world, ask them, talk to them, say, look, we need to be working more evidentially here. We need to be working and keeping with the spirit world, not so much with the psychicness. Now, what the spirit world will maybe then do is start to bring in exercises. They may start to bring in more and more um understanding of energy again which will come in through sitting in the power if you're sitting often enough they're going to start and bring in lots and lots of different things for you to be able to understand more but again it will be their interpretation your team's interpretation and it's important that you learn these interpretations yourself because my interpretation somebody else's interpretation isn't going to get you your interpretation and your toolbox is your toolbox that toolbox and i am going to be doing a video on that straight up this one which will get you out of them jams when you're working on a rostrum on a one-to-one -one, or anywhere in particular because we all will have every medium has their own toolbox or their own tool kit or bag whatever it is that we want to put their label to it and that there is where they have learned stuff over the years of demonstrating doing one-to-ones whatever it may be which is getting them out of situations that they have found really tough to change or alter and they've had maybe to alter their mediumship or they've had to change something in order to get that information over. So they're readdressing really the particular words that were said or how it was said 
all of this is built over time. This isn't going to happen overnight, but what will make it quicker and what will get you more and more open on your feet is sitting in the power. It will teach you your way and your way is the right way of how it is that you can look for just some of these things and working out whether or not you're working psychically or whether you're working mediumistically. This video is a little longer, my apologies on that one, but another thing we need to understand here is not, you have to take some responsibility. You have to make sure that you're taking your mind over there and you're staying over there. You also have to know when you've been sitting in the power, if you're actually even moving your mind. Now, I know you're going to be looking at me going, oh, well, what do you mean by that, Danielle? It means making sure that you, when you put that intent in and you say them words, you believe it. Because if you don't believe it, do you know what's going to happen? You're going to be hours swinging our here more psychically than you are medium mystic. You've got to believe in what you're thinking. You've got to believe in what you're doing. You've got to believe that the spirit world's there. You've got to believe you're working medium mystically. These are just some of the hints and tips that I can give you to work psychically or medium mystically or are you working psychically really? And I hope that it's been some help to folk. There's been a lot of questions to me recently on this one. So this one I really sort of wanted to get down there for you. And one that I wanted to put out there for you to sort of help, you know. Because I really do want to see you be the best you can possibly be, you know. And I really want you to be out there, you know, demonstrating and giving it everything you've gotten a bit more. I, I, I strive for every one of you that watch this channel. And I strive to, and I say prayers for you all to keep you all moving. And hopefully that one day yous will all be up there and I hope all of you who have started at the beginning of this year with us have put your intention in and spoken to the spirit world about one thing that is one this year because we are going to be recapping that at the end of the year just to see how far you really have come. It has been a pleasure talking to you all. I love you lots here on the channel. Thanks to everybody who's um, getting in touch for the classes. I will get back to everybody tomorrow. I've been busy uh, mentoring. I've been on a workshop yesterday and then I'm away doing some personal business this evening. So I will get back to everybody tomorrow. But it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you all. Have a great Sunday no matter what you do. And I'll see you all on Tuesday. And for those who got involved with the classes and anybody who wants to get in touch with the classes, um, or everything's in the description box or check out the video that's on YouTube. Have a great day. I love you all. Bye from me and the Spirit World. See you all soon. Bye.